Hello dearly beloved, my name is Evangelist Mark Miracle and it's a delight, some pleasure to have you this wonderful time. I am speaking on a very, very important topic. It is very pivotal. It is very, very demanding that everyone listens and keeps to what the scripture has to deliver to us today, this evening, this morning, whatever time you are watching this video. It is a matter that we have to treat and it is a matter that we have to curb at the niche before it becomes too late. And it's a very brief one. You can't love or give God. You can't love or give God if you don't love or give to the brother you see behind you or before you. I repeat myself, you can't love, you can't give to God and you can't love God. If you cannot love your brother, if you cannot love that sister, if you cannot love that beggar, if you cannot love or give to that person who is before you now, the first person that is popping into your mind now, that your spirit man is telling you, you have to make peace with this man, you have to make peace with this person, you cannot love God, you cannot give to God. All our offerings are in vain. All our love, our prayer, everything that we are doing here on earth are in vain if you cannot love God. Like I said in one of my posts, my messages are not sugar-coated messages. I bring it the way it is from the scripture. In the book of 1 John chapter 4, 1 John chapter 4 verse 20 says, If a man say, I love God, and hated his brother, he is a liar. If a man says he loved God and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he had seen, how can he love God, whom he had not seen? You hate the brother you are seeing. You hate the wife you are seeing. You hate the children you are seeing. You hate the neighbor you are seeing. How then can you say that you love God that you have never seen? How? How? How can you comprehend it? For instance, you want to, they want to marry you a wife from a, abroad. You've not seen the lady. You keep, you keep on singing praises. I love her. I love her. I will treat her fine. You've never seen her until you see her and you see what you don't like. Your mind will be changed, right? Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know how God is? Do you know who he is? You don't know, but you claim to love him when you don't love the brother you are seeing. Do I tell you something? God is the next person you are seeing. In as much as you are a God, the next person you are seeing is a God. The next person you are hating is still a God. The next sister you are wishing death is a God. The next human being that is walking in two feet, two arms, one head, two eyes, one nose that you are cursing is a God. And you don't love him. How do you love God? How do you give to God? How do you give seeds to God? How do you give offerings to God? How do you love God? How do you worship him when you hate your brother? Now listen to the next scripture. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 11 to 13. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensure it. The Bible did not say that offense will not come. The Bible did not say that things that will take off peace will not come. They will happen. They will come. But the Bible says, let him eschew evil. Who is he talking about? He's talking about the Christian. He's talking about you. He's talking about me, church goer. He's talking about you, church goer. He's talking about me, evangelist. He's talking about you, pastor. He's talking about the Christians. He said, let us eschew evil, which means that evil will come. Which means that offense will come. Let him seek peace and ensure it. Which means that things that we want to deprive you of peace will come. It means eschew evil and pursue peace. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. How can God answer our prayers? People pray over and over and over and over Christians. It looks as if God no longer answers prayers. We go from one church to another. We go from one man of God to another to seek for answers of prayers. I wish we had told the truth that we need to love that person we are calling an enemy. You need to love that person you are wishing dead. You need to love that person you are cursing. That is what is hindering our prayers. And that is what will hinder us from heaven. I wish the people who have the mouth, who have the larger opportunity to say this, will say this to people because the people are dying in silence. The people are dying in ignorance. It is not the devil that is hindering our prayers. 
it is the love we have refused to show the brother whom you are seeing. Speak not evil one of another. Brethren, he that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother, speaketh evil of the law. Speak it evil of the scripture. Speak not evil one of another. You judge this person. He did this. You judge him. You condemn him. You judge this sister. You judge that child. You judge that person. You judge that neighbor of yours in the market. The one whose shop is opposite yours. The one whose shop is close to you. You judge the one that sits with you in church. You judge this other person. The scripture is saying, judge not one another. Judge not one another. Judge not one another. It is a warning. It says that if any man among you seem to be religious and breedled not his tongue, but deceived his own heart, this man's religion is vain. We, you say people, Christian, talk, say things that are even, even God himself will wonder. Who are we saying these things about? About our fellow brothers, about your fellow sister, about that fellow human, about the fellow person that God has placed before you to love. How can God answer our prayers? Lastly, the book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17 says, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, if it first begin at me preaching, it is first begin at you hearing this word because you will not say that you do not hear it. On the last day, God will say you heard it. You watch it on this face, social Facebook page. If it first begins from our denominational centers, if it begins from our religious centers, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God be? This is what God has given me to give to everyone today. Love your neighbor. Give to your neighbor. You cannot give to God if you have not given to your neighbor. If you, can, you cannot love God if you have not loved the, the brother whom you see. They are everywhere. They are in front of your house. When you wake up, you see them. They can't afford food. But you say you are giving to God. Give to your neighbor. Give to the poor. Love the poor. Love the neighbor you are seeing. Avoid enmity. Because that day, God will say, Go ye apart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I was sick, you did not take care of me. I was naked, you did not clothe me. I was hungry, you did not feed me. God did not say he will ask. I was asking of money, he did not give me. He did not, he will not say I was asking of offering, you did not give me. He will ask you, I was hungry, I was naked, you did not feed. Which means he's talking about those brothers you are seeing. Which means he's talking about those people you are seeing. Those people I am seeing that I'm refusing to greet. Those people I'm seeing that I'm refusing to help. This is what God is talking about. And I believe that this message, we don't need altar call. Think about this and I see you in heaven. You will see me in heaven at last too. God bless you. We believe you were blessed with today's episode of Pure Gospel Moment. For prayers, testimonies, or further inquiries, you can reach Mac Miracle on plus 234-812-328-8593. That is plus 234-812-328-8593. God bless you real good. Joel 2 verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward. And I will part my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. It is time to spread the undiluted gospel to the dying world. An expository moment wrapped up with the power of the Holy Ghost. This is Pure Gospel Moment with Mac Miracle. Guest set for an encounter with a God who changes identity.